Bubble reasoning. Today we are going to be doing paper 12. As always, make sure you read the questions carefully, particularly the examples. Verbal reasoning today. Uh, in your pack, please find paper 12. I know that we haven't been doing these in order, and I would like to say it's for a specific reason, but it really isn't. It is just that I got confused. So the first block of questions, we have done many of these before. So the first thing you need to do is to draw yourself a table like this. You don't need to write the words in it. You can just use T and D for tall and dark, S and F for short and fair, and just put that information in the table, then you'll be able to answer the questions much quicker and much more easily. So while I go through the rest of the paper, you might want to pause the video and just draw that table in quickly before going back and filling it in. So questions five to nine, you have to complete the sentence by underlining a word in the brackets. So read it carefully and then think carefully before you select your answer. Questions 10 to 14. You need to underline two words in each group, in each set of brackets, which are closest in meaning. Read all of the words first before you decide which two to select. On the other side, questions 15 to 19. What you need to do is change the first word of the third pair in the same way as the other pairs to give a new word. It sounds more complicated than it is. Have a look at the example. So you'll see the pattern, did, dud, bid, bud, mid, mud. So look to see what has been changed in the other two pairs of words and apply the same to the last pair. Question 20 and 21 are a bit more tricky. These require a bit of thought. If you get stuck on these, don't worry too much because these are quite difficult questions. The best way of doing it, though, is you have to really work backwards in many ways. Questions 22 to 26. You need to underline the two words in each line which are made from the same letters. So look carefully at this. And questions 27 to 30. You need to fill in the missing numbers and letters in each sequence. So look carefully and see what the pattern is. Now pause the video while you go back and answer the questions. Then we'll get a coloured pencil and we'll go through the answers together. Well, I'll go through the answers and you can see where you've got it right or where you've got it wrong as I explain it and you mark it. Good luck. So questions one to four, hopefully you will have drawn a table like I've asked you to do, and your table will look the same as mine. Then you will have found it really quick to fill in the answers. So who was tall and dark? A was tall and dark. Question two, who was short and fair? J was short and fair. Number three, who was tall and fair? M was tall and fair. And finally, who was short and dark? P was short and dark. Question five. Man is to woman as boy is to girl. Small is to tiny as great is to huge. Question seven. Red is to stop as green is to go. Question eight. One is to single as two is to double. And question nine. Raw is to war as dim is to mid. Raw and war, it's just reverse the order of the letters. So the R has gone at the end and W at the beginning. So the same with dim. The M has gone at the beginning and the D at the end. Question 10. The two words closest in meaning are burgle and steel. Steel, the type of metal, is spelt differently. That's S-T-E-E-L. Question 11. It's help and aid. Question 12. Talk and chat. Question 13. Start and begin. And question 14. It's cunning and crafty. 
count up how many ticks you've got on that page and give yourself a score out of 14. Question 15. So it's some same. Dome, dame. Tome, tame. So the answer is tame. In the word, the first word has an O and it's changed into an A for the second word. Question 16. For hour. Fang, hang. Feet, heat. So the beginning letter is an F in the first word and it changes to an H in the second word. Question 17. Lair, hair. Lint, hint. Lost, host. The phonics goes a bit on that, but again, the first letter is an L in the first word and it changes to an H in the second word. 18. Clan, clean. Dram, dream. Chap, cheap. So the first word has four letters, the second five, and each time an E is added in front of the A. Question 19. Pace, place. Sing, sling. Back, black. So again, it's a four-letter word that becomes a five-letter word, and this time an L is placed after the first letter. Question 20 was a bit tricky, so well done if you got this right on your own. So in three years' time, Henry will be twice as old as I am now. If I am eight now, how old is Henry? He'll be 13. So we work that out by knowing that in three years' time, he's going to be twice as old as him. So if he's 8 now, 8 times 2 is 16. Then we need to take the 3 off because it will be in 3 years' time. So 16 minus 3 will give us 13. Question 21 is a bit easier. If I had 20p more, I would have twice as much as my sister, who has 60p. How much have I got? I will have one pound. So again, we'd work it out by having twice as much as his sister. So 60p times 2 is pound twenty, And he would need 20p more to have that amount. So you'd have to take the 20p off. So pound twenty minus 20p gives you £1. So very well done if you got questions 20 and 21 correct. Questions 22 to 26. So you're underlining the two words in each line made from the same letters. So 22 is arm and ram. 23 is low and owl. 24 is one and now. Question 25 is car and arc. And question 26 is dab and bad. Questions 27 to 30. So you are looking at the pattern and following the sequence. So the 27 is A10, B8, C6, then D4, E2, F. So the letters are going up in alphabetical order and the numbers are going down in twos. Question 28. The pattern goes 28, then 24. 20, 16, 12, 8. So the numbers are decreasing by 4 each time. So it's your 4 times table, but going backwards. 29, 3, then it's 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. So it's your 3 times table this time, and it's going up in sections of 3. Question 30. A, B, A, C, A, D, A, E is the answer, then A, F, A, G. So you can ignore the letter A, and then it's just going B, C, D, E, F, G. Add your marks up on that side. So on this side, it will be out of 16, and then add it to the number on the front, and that is your score. Award yourself some house points depending on how well you think you have done.